Today is another exciting day. It's the Exotic Pet Expo today. We've been looking forward to this, but Ed and I have a lot of work ahead of us. We have to set up over 100 tables in this hall. So we're gonna get started. Huge line. We're all really excited. They're flexible. <laughs> this guy's very friendly. <laughs> He's right up front. He is. Hey! Did he hear I? My name's Mike Kane of Kane's Columbians. The main reason I got into boa constrictors is because they're one of the few species of snake that actually give live birth. When you breed them together, you just have to keep the female at a certain temperature and she'll have babies on her own. Uh, you don't need to worry about incubators or eggs. And that's a big part of why I got into them. Awesome subscribers is here today. What's your name? Scarlett. Scarlett, it's great to meet. Thank you for coming to the show. What do you keep? I have a bow python and corn snake. Awesome. Are you gonna bring anything home today? No, because my mom won't let me. Oh, your mom won't. Well, we can work on that. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for coming. We are Exotic Apocalypse. We are brand new. Um, as far as vendors go, and so we're super excited to be here at the Eau Claire uh, Exotic Pet Expo. We specialize in crested geckos and arachnids. We enjoy breeding the geckos, crested geckos, um, and we, we also offer geckos from other high-end breeders such as Anthony Caponetto and Tiki's Geckos. Hi, I am Crystal, and this is my husband, Ben. Hi. We own and run Otsego Hedgehogs. We provide education for families and try to teach them all about hedgehogs. We also are a one-stop hedgehog shop because we think every hedgehog deserves all of the things it needs with an appropriate size cage. Hi, I'm Karsten with MPLS Reptiles and the ISO Psycho. I primarily work with tarantulas, isopods, roaches. I breed a few species of geckos. I also supply random supplies associated with bugs. Hi, I'm Laura, and we're here with Sugar Glider Fancy. Jen at Snuggy Palace Gliders. And this is Miss Olivia. She is a sugar glider. We feed a diet called TPG diet, the pet glider diet. And it's basically a mixture of yogurt and applesauce, vegetables, fruits. Protein. Protein, oatmeal, egg. Or... And you can add flaxseed or wheat germ as well. It's kind of an optional part. Great treats are the yogurt drops, dried fruit, mealworms, roaches. Gliders are definitely colony animals. So no matter how bonded they are to you, these gliders definitely need to have a buddy. I have a bonding scarf. You got, can carry any animals. I just got a hedgehog today. I'm just going to go on the floor then. <laughs> That's where it belongs. Alright, so that is going. Alright, can I give you a hug? Of course! <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Danica. Danica, what do you keep? 
Um, I have a bearded dragon and a tortoise. Nice, what kind of tortoise? Uh, we don't know. I thought that's all right. No, they're all great. They're all so much fun. Are you getting anything from the show today? I don't know. Oh, you'll have to show me what you end up going home with. Awesome. Great meeting you. Thanks for coming today. You're welcome. Did you name the, uh, the black uh, king snake? Yeah, oh, you know, I'm going to do a poll. I'm Chris with Triple C Reptiles. Uh, we bring lots of worms, different feeders to the show. We also uh, breed leopard geckos, ball pythons. And we build some rack systems for rats and all the reptiles. That's Cooper. He's the, the star of the show. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm from Jordan's Betas, and I specialize in axolotls and betas. I would have to say my favorite morph is the melanoid, personally. The fluorescent ones, if they are under light, they do glow. But if they are under, if it's black in the room and there's no light in the room, they look normal, like a normal Lewis. My name is Brad. I'm the owner of Serpent Syndicate. We specialize in carpet pythons, ball pythons, Burmese pythons, custom enclosures, gecko cages, bearded dragon stuff. If you have anything, you can contact me on Facebook, Serpent Syndicate. Hi, I'm Bobby Schultz from Bobby's Chinchillas. I've been raising chinchillas actually since I was seven years old, so quite a long time. This guy right here, he's an ebony. He's a little bit of a rare color. The natural color is a standard gray. Overall, chinchillas are really easy to care for. Some people think they're a little higher maintenance, but they are really like any other rodent, except they don't smell. So that's the nice thing about them. They're extremely soft, and really the care for them is just cleaning their cage once a week, um, giving them a dust bath every couple days as they shouldn't get wet, as they have very dense fur. And then I feed a high quality pellet, and then I also give a handful of Timothy hay every day. And they do have continuously growing teeth, so two toys are good for them, but overall they make very good pets. My name is Sarah Glessner, and I'm with the Snake Pit from Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have all kinds of insect cultures, dart frogs and different cork and accessories and my favorite thing about coming to this show is meeting everyone and being able to share this hobby with all of our friends. Oh my goodness, what a busy, busy, but fun day. We had about 1,300 attendees through the doors today, give or take. We had awesome help today, so thank you to everyone who helped me out. Thank you to the vendors who had great eye-catching displays. And thank you to all the attendees who came today, including some of you awesome subscribers that I met today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of relieved that it's done. Now we're just packing up some of our last minute things before taking off. So thanks again for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time. Wait, wait, wait. Before we wrap up the video, I want to give you a clue to our next animal that I'm really excited to be getting here soon. And I want to see if you can guess what it is. Here is the enclosure we have set up for it, or for them, I should say. There's multiples. We're going to open this up here. Here comes out all the fog. And we'll turn this on. It looks even cooler at night. Any guesses? Let me know in the comments below what you think we're getting, and in the next couple of weeks, you will find out.